Hello and welcome to day 232 of Dungeon 23, the series where we make a room of a mega dungeon every day for a year. In today's episode, we're going to be adding a new character that the party is going to hopefully come to love and not immediately kill and then set on fire because they are evil bastards who hate everything that I try to make for them. This is an awakened shrub. It's just a shrub that is alive. And this guy I gave 19 charisma, wisdom, and intelligence. Exceptionally intelligent, brilliant, charismatic, wise shrub that speaks common. Now, he doesn't really have any attacks because, you know, it's a shrub in a pot that could talk. And he is firmly rooted into his pot. So the normal awakened shrub could actually move around. This guy cannot, and he just wants the party to take him to the final level of the dungeon because he heard that if you get to the final room of the final level of the dungeon, you get a wish, and that's what he wants. What does he want? Probably a pair of legs. I don't know. Maybe to get out of the dungeon. Who knows? Now, does getting to the final room of the final level actually grant you a wish? Probably not. That's probably just a lie that was told to him by somebody. Or maybe he was created with the sole purpose of misinforming the party in order to get them to keep going down deeper into the dungeon for no other purpose other than the entertainment of the wizard. Because that's basically why the wizard made this thing, just to entertain himself by killing, torturing, screwing with, giving little shreds of hope and then yoinking away. It all from the adventurers who dare enter his domain of insanity and madness and non sequiturs and poorly thought out traps and monsters and encounters that I have decided are diegetic because you could always cover up mistakes you make by just saying it's supposed to be like that for some greater purpose. The amount of grave mistakes I have made that have been able to be worked into something that makes it seem like I'm smarter than I actually am greatly outweighs the amount of actual smart things I've done. And I don't mean just in like Dungeons and Dragons, I mean like in life in general. So yeah, that's basically the room, just a wacky little shrub guy in a pot. Doesn't really do anything other than complain. If you want to see more wacky characters and goofy gimmicks and treacherous traps and other annoying alliterations then consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications or you could just come back tomorrow it's a daily series after all or you could do all three if you like the video then like it obviously commenting your suggestions down below really helps and so does subjecting your friends family members co-workers people you love, people you hate, to this series by sharing it would also help. Assuming you don't mind being ostracized by everyone for subjecting them to this rambling nonsense. So yeah, thanks for watching and or listening. I apologize for the poor quality. It's not going to improve.